This is us, in the capital city of Greenland, Nuuk. It's amazing how much we've all changed. I remember when it all started on July 9th in Ottawa. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the uh, 2014 Students on Ice Arctic Expedition. You guys are now part of this alumni of Students on Ice uh, that includes almost 3,000 students and staff from 52 countries around the world. Hi everyone, my name is Mike. I'm from Toronto, Ontario. My name tag does not lie. I'm Matt, and I'm the guy with the GoPro, always in his hands. Um, I love culture. I want to learn culture from all around. I love traveling. I love to get up and close to people, you know, kind of. <laughs> We're all in the same, same path, I guess. Uh, trying to learn more about the Poles and the original cultures. And yeah, just as a team, uh, what joins us is pretty much that educational journey that we're all going through. My name is Inungwok Osterman. I'm from Nook, Greenland. I'm looking forward to come back to Greenland again. So I'm eager to share with it to other people. It's really awesome because like we're like so many different people from different places and like getting to know each and one of each other. Heartfelt thing. Um, not really sure if this is like something I'd say, but like I kind of, I really think just everyone here is awesome. Like, <laughs> oh my God. Like, 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 like people, everyone here is awesome. Oh Little dog tail wagon down the ground. Oh Lord, you looking for a friend. Would you be my friend? I haven't met anyone that's been on one of these expeditions, student or staff, that hasn't grown or changed or had it impact them in some kind of way. So in that way, we are absolutely all in this together. And that just gives me goosebumps because I love that. We spent several days in Canada's capital to prepare for our two-week journey to the Arctic. It seems like just yesterday we were boarding our plane to our first destination, Kujuak. I got to see how some other people live and it's way different than how I'm used to living. And also I got to meet some really cool people that are from Kujuak and they um, helped me teach me some words like eat key, which means I'm cold. <laughs> And, uh, boys back in the days they used to throat sing and the way uh, the reason why they used to throat sing was to keep warm and to keep themselves uh, busy throat singing now is more for an event or show. Yeah. We were all just standing around the ATV casually and out of nowhere. Um, one of the locals said, Oh, I'll show you how to uh, beatbox, and everyone started swarming in, and we just got a nice circle going. This is our floating home and classroom, the Sea Adventure. Well, hello, students on ice, and welcome aboard. We made it. Does it feel good to be here? When the nature is surrounding me and it's all around me, I feel peace. When I was in Ottawa, I felt 
a little bit homesick and I just wanted to go home. Right now I don't want to go home anymore. I just want to stay here for like forever if I can. <laughs> Our first landing was an eye-opening experience. We just went to an old Inuit community that they were very tragically forced out of um, around, I think it was the 1970s. The last person who lived there was left in the 1980s. It's just a very weird and exciting feeling you got as you walk through the village. History is just, it's more of a humanist approach to any other subject I find. Where this you're trying to relive the past and see the world through former people's eyes and just, you can connect with it just emotionally a lot easier than most topics. The next three days were spent in the Torngat Mountains National Park exploring nature. The Torngat National Park is just huge. I mean, we, we've only scratched the surface in, and we could already see how big it is. One of the most amazing places I've ever been. I really like sometimes just going and sitting outside in peace and quiet. Like It's my favorite part. It's just taking it all in. It makes you feel like you're so insignificant in this world, but at the same time, you're a key part of it. So it really gets you thinking. The Torngat Mountains National Park is actually Tungak. Mountains National Park. Tungak in Inuktitut is the most powerful of Inuit spirits. So this is Tungak's homeland. We're hiking up the Torngat Mountains to a waterfall. It's pretty nice. The Inuit uh, lived in this park for thousands of years. It's very important for, for youth to come here and to make a connection to nature and to make a connection with their own culture. Uh, they find that it's uh, self-healing and that it expands their minds. Can't stop it. I can't stop <laughs> I feel I like being in this wild. Can't explain it. Nature. This is like home. I like to be in the tundra. It's very important for me to keep my culture because I don't want to lose it. My language, I try to speak as much at home. I try to go out in the land as, mu as much as I can. We were lucky enough to visit Kombak Torvik Fjord, Ryan's Bay, and Eclipse Bay. Thanks to the gods, the Torngat gods that are blessing us today. And our expedition this year has just been such a huge success and once again proven 
that this is the best classroom in the world. These kids have been, been connected, not only to nature, but through nature to themselves, to each other, to sciences, history, culture, music. It's our first landing in Greenland and we get to see this beautiful glacier and everywhere we are I'm looking up because everything is so big here. Ice has a hardness of about one which is extremely low, very soft. So when the glacier advances over this area, the glacier brought down rocks with it. And those might just be segregations of uh, whole rock, uh, country rock that were pulled up into the granite or stoked off into the magma chamber. And I think it's really cool that we have teachers here and it's not just like we're traveling, but it's the entire classroom, it's our schooling, it's expedition, we're learning. And it's a huge experience. What have I not learned? <laughs> yeah, it goes it goes from cal from climate change to animals to inner inner preservation. So sometimes I used to be so quiet, and now I've been on this trip. It's been making me change. I now experience that I can express myself with the music I've wrote. It's just a great experience. This trip has definitely inspired me to make different changes in my community, in my own habits and everyday life. Video coffee. We soon realized the trip had come to an end. It is now time to reflect on the friendships we've made and the experiences we've shared. I must say it, it felt like a release of all past troubles and struggles. I do feel different. I do. I am with my family. Come celebrate the day. Off we go to find the new waters and new friends along the way. When the moon shines down on 